Right, this is a little bit of an introduction to using uh, Windows Movie Maker. At the moment we've got pretty much just the basic screen up here. But there's a couple of things we really need to do. And uh, first of all we need to go into the Tools menu. Uh, into the Options. And uh, in the General Options you note here that we've got our temporary storage places, Documents and Settings, JB, Local. That's my computer I'm using here. What I suggest you do is actually um, go into your uh, directory now, whatever drive you want to put if you've got your hard drive partitioned or something like that. Uh, we're on drive C here, we've got a directory here called video and um, I can uh, go down to the temp folder under that one or if I can make a new folder if I want to and uh, we choose OK. Now what's happening now is our temporary storage is going into this folder here C colon backslash video temp. The reason for doing that is that uh, these video files once you start recording and saving them they're absolutely huge files and if they're in the documents and settings directory sometimes they make them very difficult to locate and uh, clean up your hard drive if you haven't got uh, much in the way of computer skills. Okay, next we go to advanced. This is uh, where we're putting things like uh, picture duration, five seconds. That's for uh, that's for stills. If you put a put a still into your into your um, video, by default they're going to be five seconds long, and the transition between automatically transitions is uh, 1.25 seconds. Not too concerned about that at the moment. The most important thing is when you first open up Windows Movie Maker, it will be set up for NTSC. We need to make sure that the PAL icon is ticked or has a dot in it. And the aspect ratio, now the aspect ratio is uh, in, in most cases 4 by 3. Uh, it's normal, commonly another referred to as letterbox format. And then there's 16 by 9. 16 by 9 is widescreen. If you're filming in widescreen, choose widescreen. If you're playing back on widescreen, yes, it's uh, the better one to choose for that. But if you if you're going to play back on a normal square television, if you record if you record your stuff and pl and edit in widescreen, you'll get the black line top and bottom. Four by three, and um, oh, we don't really need to worry about the email uh, the email part there. That's okay. Compatibility, yeah. Well, I wouldn't really be touching any of those things in there and choose OK. Now if you ever make a mistake there, I'll just have a look here, the options. If you ever make a mistake you can just click that restore all defaults in the compatibility, restore all defaults there and put it all back to default. Choose OK. Right, that's it. We've uh, now got our program, program set up. We've got file, new project and the first thing the very first thing we need to do is we need to capture some videos. So uh, I'll uh, I'll come up with another the next next lesson, and that'll be uh, capturing capturing video from a uh, a DV recorder.